Hey there, it's me, that Logic Pro guy. What's up? I hope you're well. Today we're going to talk about the weirdest things in Logic Pro. This is a series that I created on my other channel originally, but I'm migrating it here. The weirdest things in Logic Pro. Number one, I go to create a software instrument track within Logic Pro. Like most people, I want to hear just a basic sound. Maybe I'm just creating some chords, and so I go to type piano. We come to find that the very first sound doesn't sound like a piano at all. Same with the second sound. When I create the third sound here, it becomes this track stack, you know, bunch of different stuff here, and this too doesn't sound like a piano, and so on and so forth. So okay, that's not a big deal, but strangely enough, if I run that whole process over again, type in piano, but I don't click on anything but the third item, this now becomes what they call an external instrument legacy, which is completely antiquated. This makes no sense in any way whatsoever, and this obviously needs to be fixed. In order to bypass this weird functionality, here's what we're going to do. We're going to either create a software instrument and inside of the studio instruments select piano, but better yet, inside of the library i'll find the piano category and i will control click my favorite one so that i define it as my default and every single time from here on out when i create a software instrument track you guessed it it brought up that piano track so let's check out how that works piano i will define my default and i go to create a software instrument and here's my default patch. There's the piano in question, and that's a beautiful thing. If you want an instrument or anything to show up every single time, no matter what, that behavior is dictated inside of the new tracks dialog window. So let's say I always want to bring up Vital, which is a beautiful free synthesizer. Please check it out so that Let's say you're working on an EDM project. You want this synthesizer to come up every single time you create a software instrument. Let's hit the key command, option, command S. There it is right there. And if I go into the channel strip, you can see that Vital was summoned. I think this is a beautiful workflow, but be aware of it because a lot of people think logic is illogical, but truthfully, they really just don't know how to operate the machinery. Once you figure it out, this is a glorious program. If you didn't know, every single stock synth inside of Logic is able to utilize something called articulation settings. Now that's made pretty obvious when you use something like the Studio Strings series or the Studio Horns or what have you, but we have this made available inside of anything. So here we have EFM1, old school synthesizer, and we can manipulate the synth however we want, but if I wanted to make a change, let's say from one sound to an another, I would probably have to automate that. For example, here's a short staccato sound, and here is something that has a little bit more length. Okay, if I wanted to play with those two sounds immediately if i go to the track inspector and i hit new now i'm not going to actually create it now just for the sake of time i will link a video that describes the whole process if i go back to the efm1 check this out now i can access various articulations so that when i play this sound i can actually access the short one the long one quickly just like that add it to your arsenal i think it might help you out it's a beautiful thing for sure. The weirdest thing about Logic Pro, did you know that you could actually drag in content from other sessions? So let's go ahead and try that out right now. Let's say I have another session and maybe I really like the kick drum or what have you and so I just want to bring that into the session. I will open up the other session. I will not close this session and maybe I will move these accordingly and I will bring let's say these chords up here beautiful 
maybe I could command C command V it let's see if that works a little bit better command C click on that command V it works nicely something else to take into account is if I wanted to take the whole channel strip right all the effects everything included so if I had an EQ and a compressor here I can copy the channel strip setting key command option command C the key command to paste is option command V so on this channel strip on this session option command V will bring up the channel strip settings from that other session so it's a beautiful workflow please check it out you can take content you can drag in from other sessions you probably didn't know this but I can actually drag in data from other DAWs as well such as Ableton so let's say I'm working with a draft a demo inside of another DAW maybe I have a collaborator if I click and drag here we can use that content from that DAW inside a Logic Pro but this truly right here is the best part about it if I let's say bring up a session player and I want both of these DAWs to play nicely with each other this is actually possible I'm going to enable Ableton link within this DAW and then in logic inside of the customized control bar and display I'm going to click on sync now I want to be able to see everything so I'm going to close the LCD like that now if I click and hold and I enable Ableton link you can see the quantize start indicator is showing these two DAWs are pairing together and so when I click play here and then on logic they will actually work together check it out very cool please let me know what you thought about this series the weirdest things in logic pro so many little quirks if there's anything you know that i don't please let me know uh do check me out on the apple logic pro forum i'm trying to break a record so any support and upvotes there would be highly appreciated this is that logic pro guy signing out thank you so much for supporting my work i'm going to keep fighting i'm going to keep going strong to make sure you guys get the best content on the internet today all right I'm going to get out of here. Bless you.